Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I just wanted to quickly clear up a few things about this teaser that we got on Global last night. Now, some of you might find this to be a bit of a pointless video and that's totally fine, but I personally have seen a ton of confusion and speculation out there on the internet this morning. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys my two cents and give you my opinions on what exactly I think is going on here and hopefully maybe settle a few debates along the way. But before I get started, I want to be clear that most of what I'm saying is speculation because nobody knows for sure, right? We don't have any official news at this moment. I can only go uh, based off, you know, guesses, educated guesses, and also uh, some leaks we got from data miners earlier this week. So uh, yeah, keep, keep, it, keep that in mind. Just take everything I say with a grain of salt. But with that said, let's jump into this news release and uh, see exactly what's going on here. Now, the two main questions people have here is, what exactly is this news release referring to? What Dokkan Fest units are coming? And also, number two, whether or not it's coming to Global first, because at the time of this filming, at least, only Global has this news release. Um, JP, as far as I can tell, hasn't gotten anything about or anything similar to this yet. So um, it's only on Global, and that would lead people to believe that it is coming to Global first. But uh, we'll get to that in a second. So let's start from the very top. It says a new Dokkan event is coming soon. So obviously, usually with a new Dokkan event means a new Dokkan character or a Dokkan Fest is coming with it, right? So that makes sense. And the picture says Shenron, please help. So we know it has something to do with the Dragon Balls, something to do with Shenron. And it says the power of bonds that call forth miracles reign victorious in fierce battle, in a fierce battle against the brothers who inherited the title of the strongest. Who exactly are the strongest brothers? Stay tuned for more event details. So just off the top of my head, I mean, if we're thinking about brother duos, um, brother pairs in uh, the Dragon Ball series, I can think of, you know, Vegeta and Tarble. Um, <laughs> who else is there? Uh, Raditz and Goku. Um, I'm sure there are more, but you know what, on the spot I can't think of too many, but of course there's also Gohan and Goten, and if we're talking about like overall strength of like both parties in the brother pairs, I gotta go with Gohan and Goten, man, I mean, it makes sense to me, and also, one key bit of information is that we did get a leak a couple days ago, if you guys keep up with Dokkan news, then you would know about this, um, Team Dokkaner on Twitter did leak that a LR family Kamehameha unit or trio is uh, coming to both versions of the game uh, for Goku Day, which is on May 9th, which is very soon, right? So, you know, the Gohan and Goten uh, being this new unit that's coming would actually go along with that news release. And uh, I mean, <laughs> basically, I'm saying what I'm saying is it makes a lot of sense that they're referring to the uh, Gohan and Goten, possibly Goku in there as well, but. Um, the theory is that it's going to be just Gohan and Goten, and then for their active skill, they'll actually summon Goku with the Dragon Balls, which is why we have this, uh, you know, Shenron, please help with Dragon Balls in the background, um, and you do the family Kamehameha as their active skill, their ultimate skill, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? So that's what I'm thinking, and that would make sense to me. And also, of course, in the Broly movie, uh, where they do the family Kamehameha, the, uh, like the Dragon Balls are used to summon Goku, and that's how they do the family Kamehameha. So, all of that in conjunction, you know, combined, does make me think this is referring to the LR family Kamehameha trio, or LR Goten and Gohan that summon Goku. So, uh, that's one bit of information we have cleared up there. Now, the next part is a little bit confusing. It says two new SSR characters can be awakened, can be Dokkan awakened with the awakening medals obtained from this event. So, that kind of throws off three people because obviously from what we've heard from the leaks, it's just the LR uh, Gohan and Goten or Gohan, Goten and Goku that's coming, not two SSR. So people are like, okay, is it referring to two new like SSR Dokkan Fest units that we don't know about or uh, is it something else? Now, this could mean a few things to me. It could just be referring to number one, the uh, LR, the LR Goten and Gohan and also another like non Dokkan Fest unit that they are releasing with the LR that's going to be new as part of this new Dokkan Fest banner, right? So sometimes when they release new Dokkan Fest units, they also bring in, um, you know, other units along with it that are kind of like side, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, for example, when Hit dropped, he brought in uh, the new Int Bodomageta, 
and also uh, the new STR Frost. So it could be something like that, you know, just the LR along with another non Doka FS new unit, or um, it could be referring to maybe an existing unit in the game that still doesn't have a Dokkan Awakening that will get a Dokkan Awakening with the medals from the new Dokkan event. So it could mean a few things, but just because it says two new SSR characters can be Dokkan Awakened doesn't mean that it's going to be two new Dokkan Fest units, right? So um, in my mind, it's probably going to be like one of the new SSRs that they're referring to is the LR, and another one's going to be like another brand new unit that uh, we don't know about yet. Could be a Goku, could be a... Gohan or Goten or maybe another Gohan and Goten. Who knows? I don't really know right now to be honest, but um, that's my theory going forward. So that's what I think that means. And the last part of this news release says, don't miss out on the Dokkan event that will have its first release in the international version. Now, I guess that could be interpreted in a few different ways, but to me, it's pretty clear that they're saying it's going to come out on Global first. And uh, there's another thing out there, actually, that makes me think that. And that would be this post that they released earlier today on the official Dokkan Instagram page. And if you check out the caption, it clearly says, Global first character coming soon. Now, if the wording in the in-game news release was confusing to you, I think this is as clear as it gets that these characters, whatever they are, uh, whether it be the LR Goten and Gohan like I think it is or some other random character we don't know about um, They are gonna be a global exclusive at least for a certain period of time maybe only a couple of days to be honest because um, We were told by Team Dokener that both Global and JP were gonna get this LR family Kamehameha unit so um, obviously, there are still questions left in the air, man. I'm still not 100% sure like what exactly is going on. But usually, when we get news releases like this uh, for Dokkan events, um, like announcements, the banner will usually drop like two days later, right? Like that's the average uh, time frame. The that's always kind of been the the norm. So uh, we can pretty much expect a banner for the LR Goten and Gohan, or whatever you guys think it is. Like I said, I think that's what it is. Um, on uh, what day is it today? Actually, I even I didn't even know, man. I'm so confused. May second. Okay, so May second. So by May fourth, which is in two days, uh, we should expect a banner on global. Now, I guess there are also a few other possibilities to consider here. So number one, maybe the data miners were just off, right? I mean, no disrespect to Dokener, to Kawai, to all of those guys that provide us with information. You know, I respect the crap out of them. They make my job so much easier, and uh, you know. Nothing but the utmost respect to them, but there have been times in the past where their information wasn't 100% accurate, and maybe this was one of those times, right? So they thought that, you know, the unit was going to drop at the same time on both Global and JP, and maybe instead it's only coming to Global right now, and, uh, you know, it's going to be exclusive for a couple weeks, a couple months, and then JP is going to get it later. That's one possibility, right? So. I'm not saying that's what it is, I'm just saying it's possible that the data miners were not 100% accurate this time. To be honest, I'm just kind of like grasping at straws right now. I don't remember the last time something like this happened on Dokkan, and uh, you know, it's really anybody's guess right now. But that's really all I have to say in this video. I've given you guys my two cents, my opinions. Um, I think it's going to be the LR Goten and Gohan, or uh, LR Family Kamehameha Trio and uh, it will come to global first. The wording does seem to indicate that, but um, I'm not really sure when exactly JP's gonna get it, whether it's gonna be in a couple days after that, or maybe in a couple weeks, couple months, if they do wanna keep it exclusive for uh, global for a little while. I guess that's possible too, but like I said, it's all speculation. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all this, whether or not you agree with me and you think that you know, my analysis is on point, or maybe you just think everything I'm saying is BS and I'm completely wrong. I'm open to that too. Definitely open to different opinions. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this entire situation. It's kind of weird, but I felt the need to make this video just to clear up a few things because a lot of people out there seem to be confused, right? So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative, uh, useful, helpful in some way. And if you did, then make sure to like, the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I gotta say. 
I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.